So, David, let's start off with an introduction of your name, your job title, and where you work. So, my name is David Bradshaw, and I'm the Vice President for Client Care at ATB Financial, located in Calgary, Alberta. down to two things for me. One is uh, trust. So being able to trust your employees. Like your, your employees are not out there to steal things from you, including time, right? So there's a certain um, piece of trust. Uh, when you uh, have a highly engaged people, they will be more productive. So what they will be able to do in five days, they can do in four days. If that's the ask and you talk to them about it and you engage them, I don't see that being a big issue. So one of the things that we created at ATB and I've created in my past is that we've always had this subset of the um, what I call the employee population um, that represents the rest. It's not like a union, but it's it's called voice of the team members. So you have voice of the customer. So why can't you have voice of the employee, right? So whereby you bring a group of employees and you rotate them every quarter and they talk about some of the top issues that are facing you know them in the workplace as well as you get to hear what's also happening from a customer's perspective as well you get so much insight um, because they're able to tell you about recommendations thoughts that they have so I, that's one way of, in, of, of engaging them the other way of engaging them is just to be an active leader like just to be out there engaging with your staff walking around asking questions being curious recognizing people having purpose when you don't talk to individuals, not just being a smiley face. Yeah, so you do have different people, you do have different types of personalities. So the purpose and, and the delivery of the great customer experience is not negotiable. Like that is, that is non-negotiable. Uh, the employee experience is not negotiable as well. I think when it comes down to rewarding people and reinforcing uh, behavior, I think that's when you start to get down to the individual level and the different personalities is when, you, when it gets down to reward, recognition, um, individualized uh, attention, the way how you coach them, the way how they learn, uh, the way how, they, how, they, how you develop them, that's when it changes, but the overarching piece of the customer experience and the employee experience, non-negotiable. So I can't speak directly to profitability because the, 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 the numbers are so big, but what I can tell you is that um, ATB's overall employee engagement is 91%. Uh, we were voted uh, second place, um, for, got the second place award for best um, uh, organization to work for in Canada, and we were hard, we had record breaking profits um, in 2000 and uh, in fiscal year 2019. So you know when you look at the engagement, uh, when you look at being a great place to work, when you look at also being a great place to work for uh, women and um, and, and uh, young people. Um, and providing that, that great workplace for people to, 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 to strive and, and lead a life, it, it all translates back into the bottom line. Being able to tie in the brand promise with the employee promise is critical. So if you're looking at a brand, so you know what is what what is your purpose as an organization? So it starts with what I call the big P. So what's the big purpose of the organization? And then how do you get your people rallied around this big purpose? And it's and it's all around the way how you communicate with people. It's all the way how you engage people. It's the types of people that you hire. You, know, you have to make sure that uh, that the values are, are shared right across the uh, right across the organization, and that you know it's part of people's natural DNA. So I think it's you know A is the you 
know, the types of people that you bring in and the, and the employee promise. And then there's the overall brand promise. And you've got to be able to deliver that. I mean, if you look at iconic brands, you look at people like uh, Levi's. And when you go into a Levi's jean store, like those people know what they're talking about. They're happy, they're engaged. And that whole brand, that whole Levi's brand, and then the actual, when you go in there and buy the, actually buy the jeans, like these are jeans, they just marry one another, right? You leave there feeling good. And that's why they have so much loyalty. Um, I've got three nuggets of information. The big piece, the big aha moment for me was that um, when we look at financial services, we're sometimes dependent on other partners. So I met someone from Moneris, and the example that I have is that, you know, customers use our credit cards and they tap on Moneris machines, right? But when the Moneris machine is down, they don't call Moneris, they call ATB, because customers don't care about the ecosystem, they care about the experience that they're getting. So the big the big thing for me is that how do we engage our partners like Veneris and other partners um, that don't directly work for us, but they are partners with us? How do we engage them in that whole customer experience uh, journey? Because there are other partners to think about, right? That's lovely. I'm glad that you're having that experience. And you know, it's an insight for me as well for our next event that we can connect people like that, you know, because uh, you work indirectly with each other. Directly. Exactly. So, but, that is but directly impacting the customer. Exactly. Thank you. That was lovely. Um, that's all my questions, and that was a pleasant conversation. Thank you so much. You're welcome.